In the bewitching world of the television series Bewitched, Samantha Stevens casts a spell on audiences with enchanting charm and magical abilities. And within this magical universe, her husband Darren played a central role in her life. But as we delve into the depths of Samantha's story, we begin to question whether Darren truly deserved this extraordinary woman. Facts First presents Samantha Stevens' husband didn't deserve her on Bewitched. Sam was the full package. Even well into the 21st century, Samantha Stevens remains an iconic name, representing one of the most memorable TV characters in the medium. She embodies a multitude of admirable qualities that make her remarkable, while her husband, Darren, arguably falls short in comparison. Samantha exudes class, humor, wit, kindness, exceptional problem-solving skills, and seemingly boundless patience. Stick around as we'll touch on these qualities a little bit more. Viewers of Bewitched were captivated by her character, played by the talented Elizabeth Montgomery. The ensemble cast all contributed to the show's dynamic and comedic charm. But Samantha's presence brought out the best in everyone around her. She often played the role of peacemaker, skillfully resolving conflicts, particularly between Endora and Darren. Her bravery, strength, creativity, and positive outlook were truly inspiring. Samantha's character emanated sweetness and unwavering compassion, serving as a role model for many who aspired to emulate her. Her trademark nose twitch and catchphrase, Oh My Stars, have likewise become iconic elements of the show's legacy. Elegance and Femininity Samantha effortlessly epitomized the elegance of the 60s and 70s fashion. Whether she was going shopping or engaging in other activities, she consistently dressed impeccably. Her wardrobe included stylish dresses, gloves, heels, and matching handbags, a complete ensemble that reflected her timeless sense of style. One of her notable fashion moments was her pink outfit in the show's first episode, I Dare and Take This Witch, Samantha. The pink ensemble perfectly complemented her appearance, with her blonde hair styled to perfection and subtle yet flattering makeup. Samantha radiated confidence and poise, ready to take on the world, a fateful day that led to her meeting her future husband. Over the years, her style evolved along with the changing fashion trends. She transitioned from classy solid colors, gloves and heels to more colorful jumpsuits and sandals. While her outfits maintained a modesty befitting her role as a housewife, they were far from dull. Her collection included a wide array of vibrant and beautiful attire suitable not only for daily activities, but also important dinners and parties. And of course, we can't overlook her iconic black dress with attached cape, which she donned when entering witch mode. This ensemble signified her serious intentions, whether it involved teaching someone a lesson or causing mischief. Notably, she wore this attire in the memorable episode Follow That Witch Part 2 to exact revenge on the slimy private detective Charlie Leach, who had blackmailed her. Samantha's retaliation involved undoing everything she had granted him, including transforming his new car into a child's toy. When he later threatened her, Samantha effortlessly sent him elsewhere. Boundless Kindness Although she wasn't someone you'd be wise to provoke, Samantha possessed an innate kindness that extended to all around her. Throughout the series, she generously helped numerous people, animals, and even supernatural beings treating them with warmth and compassion. From boosting a young boy's self-confidence by magically turning him into a star baseball player in Season 1, to aiding a runaway racehorse in Season 2, Samantha consistently demonstrated her goodwill. Although her initial attempts might not always have succeeded, her intentions were always sincere. Her kindness extended even to those who may not have deserved it, such as Darren's mother in the episode Samantha Meets the Folks. Despite Phyllis's overly critical nature and her tendency to belittle Samantha, driven by fear of being replaced, Samantha continued to show kindness and concern throughout their encounters. Samantha yearned for Phyllis's approval and went out of her way to exhibit kindness, displaying exceptional compassion in the face of cruelty. Her unwavering kindness towards a challenging mother-in-law like Phyllis undoubtedly earned her significant admiration, although Samantha never sought recognition. Her only desire was for Darren's parents to accept her. She also demonstrated great compassion for her elderly Aunt Clara, who often struggled with her magic and made unconventional entrances via the chimney. Samantha and Clara shared a loving bond, the most nurturing among Samantha's relatives. Despite the occasional frustrations other family members felt towards Aunt Clara's frequent mishaps, 
Samantha's patience remained unwavering. She constantly offered her aunt sympathy, assistance, and unwavering goodwill. But Samantha was far from a pushover. She had a sharp sense of humor that could diffuse tense situations. But if someone crossed the line, she fearlessly taught them a valuable lesson. Whether temporarily transforming a harasser into a dog or making Darren's ex, Sheila, appear foolish at a party while enduring Sheila's persistent advances and insults, Samantha always stood up for herself. Should Sam have divorced Darren? There's a popular belief that Samantha should have divorced Darren due to his portrayal, at least as seen by some, as the worst husband in the show. Critics argue Samantha's complete compliance with his demanding and irrational behavior towards her true nature was disheartening. While Darren's character often dealt with the difficult mother-in-law, there are those who question the true villain in the scenario. Many argue that Endora had valid reasons to despise her misogynistic son-in-law. Some find it shocking that Samantha wanted to conform to the rules set by her tyrant of a husband. They highlight an episode where Samantha is cleaning the oven and Endora expresses her displeasure at seeing her engaged in such domestic tasks. While Endora's disgust is understandable, critics also find Samantha's contentment with her housewifely duties equally troubling. Acknowledging that Samantha's behavior could be seen as enjoying mortal life as a lark, critics contend that the real theme of Bewitched extends beyond her choice to live as a mortal. They argue that it portrays a man dominating a woman and prohibiting her from being true to herself, perpetuating the myth of women's subservience to men. Darren's constant demands for Samantha to abandon her true nature and conform to mortal behavior reflect the societal expectations placed on women to adhere to their husband's desires. Furthermore, critics assert that his consistent reminders of being the king of his castle and his hypocritical acceptance of Samantha's magic only when it suited him make him one of the most reprehensible characters in television history. The show's theme of a husband's power over his wife's abilities and her need to conceal her true self is seen as a representation of the brainwashing experienced by women in the 50s. Critics argue it perpetuated the idea that women should conform to societal expectations, limiting their opportunities for personal growth and fulfillment. It's saddening to some that Samantha continues to use her powers behind Darren's back, suggesting she's comfortable with her true self but succumbs to his demands to please him. This notion of a good marriage involving partners hiding and sneaking around to pursue forbidden joys is seen as problematic. Critics believe Samantha's self-denial to appease a man is more disheartening. Furthermore, characters like Darren Stevens are seen as detrimental to the women's movement, as they reinforce the notion that husbands have control and women must be clever in hiding their true selves. The capability Samantha possesses to change her life and the world with a twitch of her nose being forbidden highlights the limitations placed on women and their freedom of choice. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think that Samantha deserved better and should have divorced Darren? Or do you think that he did his best to be a loving and supportive husband despite his flaws? Let us know in the comments section below.